Hey guys, so I just woke up, but I have a super fun idea. I was going to start this last night, but I was tired, so we're going to start it uh, this morning. So it is currently 9.40 um, in the morning on Sunday. So I know people do 24-hour readathons, but I decided that I'm going to try a 24-hour write-a-thon. So starting today until tomorrow I'm just gonna do nothing but write um yeah so it's currently 9 40 I think I'll wait to start this till 10 just so it's even and then I can go till 10 tomorrow um but yeah this is gonna be fun um might be ter terrible might be exhausting but I'm gonna do it so yeah I'm gonna make some food really quick eat and then we're going to start writing so it's currently like 10 o'clock, um, well it's 10.07, but I just downloaded Scrivener, like the free trial of Scrivener, because I don't know if I'll like it, but I've been hearing good things about it. Um, so I'm just kind of playing around in the free trial, I'm looking at the tutorial right now, because this looks really confusing, um, but maybe it's not the best thing to use when I'm already like in the middle of a draft. It might be better to start like first draft with it, but, um... I don't know, it looks like you can like import a draft, I guess, and then maybe start the edits. I don't really know. I'm going to look through this tutorial and maybe try to figure it out and see if I like it because Google Docs is kind of a mess and I feel like having organization will be a little bit better, especially when I move into the revision stage of this novel. So yeah, I'm going to check it out. Hi guys. So I imported my project into Scrivener. And I don't know, it's kind of cool, it's kind of confusing at first to figure this out, like I don't really understand it yet. I know how to do maybe the basic things, but I don't know how to do all the like fancy fun things. However, I like that they have like a, st they have like a statistics page that you can like see your project stats. So like you can see the total word count and stuff, but I also think it's cool because it shows you how many pages it'll be like in a regular size paperback. So right now we're at 170 pages. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're at 59,000 words, so that's cool. Um, yeah, and I also find it cool because they have like targets you can set, so if you want to like say I want this many words and then it'll show you how many of the words you have out of your goal and it also you can like set targets for like a session I guess so say I want to sit here and write 2,000 words it'll tell me how many words I've written out of those so I thought that was cool um yeah I'm just kind of like exploring this right now It'll also tell you like how many words you have in each chapter because you I like that you can break things up by chapter because I always like I'm like oh my gosh I forgot what I wrote in this chapter and I'm like sitting here scrolling for days but now it's kind of like I don't know it's kind of interesting um I feel like it'd be better to start like a clean draft like when you first I feel like it'd be more fun to start like a first book in Scrivener because then you can like do all the little like note documents but like I have a bunch of paper documents that I don't really feel like importing into here because I'd rather just focus on writing but I think this will be cool for editing because you can really break everything up and see it. And you can also add like notes and stuff. I don't really know how to do anything. But um, I figured I'd test it out. I'm kind of afraid to write in this. Because I don't know. I'm afraid it won't save. But I mean I guess it should. You can save it. Hey guys. So it is currently 1.45 p.m. I did take a little bit of a break from writing. I uh, went and showered because when I'm home alone and there's no one to talk to and just chilling in my pajamas all day makes me tired. Honestly, I'm already feeling kind of tired because I was sitting around for a minute. I did a little bit of sewing um, just to get like away because I couldn't really think. I was writing and like just staring at a blank screen. I maybe only wrote like 800 words. Um, so you know, but I'm back. I got a snack. Got some chips and salsa to snack on, so hopefully that'll wake me up a little bit and I can get to writing some more. Um, I don't know. We're gonna try. <laughs> Yay! Alright you guys, it's update time. So, it is like 
almost 7 o'clock. I haven't updated in a minute. Um, I've been writing here and there. I've kind of been like taking little breaks here and there because sitting in this chair all day isn't very comfortable. I played a little bit of video games. I ate some dinner, lunch, lunch and dinner. I don't really know. I had a snack and then I ate dinner, I guess. I had some leftover pizza. Um, I'm just been writing here and there. I'm almost done with chapter 13, so that's exciting. Um, I feel like I haven't gotten much done for writing for like eight hours, but I mean, I did take a few breaks here and there. Um, and you know, it's a slow process, definitely not as quick as doing like a 24 hour readathon would be. But I don't know, I kind of like it. We have a long night of writing ahead of us, so it's going to be interesting. Um, hopefully everything I write ends up making sense, but even if it doesn't, this is just a crap draft. For now and then um we can make it nicer when i get to editing my goal is just to finish this draft so i do want to finish this draft by the end of the month that's why i'm trying to like kind of power through and do like this right all day and all night kind of thing um but yeah i'm gonna get back to writing i did edit a youtube video for my craft channel though, so that's uh downloading right now so i'm getting some more writing in while that uploads and um yeah. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> just started raining outside and like that is not is that like not perfect just writing lounging inside weather but I feel like I'm going a little bit crazy because I've been sitting inside this house all by myself all day so ah just been me and my characters and some video games and some food Whew. anyway I want to finish this chapter so time to power through and stop talking to you guys hey guys ah uh. I just made myself a root beer float because I need some sugar right now. Um, it's only 9 o'clock, but like, I already feel exhausted. Something about sitting in front of a computer all day is just like exhausting because you're not moving, you're not doing anything, so I've had to get up and move around. Um, I just moved back into my living room because I've been sitting at my desk in my office like all day and I'm getting very uncomfortable and my back is starting to hurt from sitting in that chair all day so I switched back to Google Docs because I can access that on my Chromebook and I cannot get Scrivener on my Chromebook I don't think um I don't think Scrivener is like online I think it's only like if you have to download it so it's probably not going to work on my Mac or on my uh Chromebook so, I just switched back to Google Docs. I feel like Scrivener will be a lot more of a helpful tool if I'm not importing a novel to it and if I just kind of start writing from scratch, like a book in there, because I feel like you use a lot of the note features and stuff and they would be helpful. It might also be helpful when I go into revisions, so I might just do that and keep writing it in Google Docs. Because, I don't know, it also kind of creeps me out because I'm afraid it's not going to save once the trial ends or I don't know how that works because I'm just doing like a free trial. But, I don't know. I like that you can break up the chapters and I think it's good for organization. But for now, I'm just going to keep doing Google Docs because I can access it from anywhere. And uh, sometimes it's just easier to lounge on my couch and write and be comfy. So I'm going to do that for a little while. I think I'm going to time myself. I'm going to do a 30 minute writing sprint and just see how many words I can get down in 30 minutes. Right now my word count is 60,659. So I'm going to go ahead and just write for 30 minutes and see how much I can get done.
it's been 30 minutes and I wrote a thousand words. Yay! <sighs> I'm still not done with this chapter though. Ugh. Why am I so tired? I've literally done nothing all day and I'm exhausted. I don't understand it. It's only 10 o'clock. Like, what, what am I doing with my life? Um, yeah, I'm literally so close to finishing this chapter. It's, like, right at the end. So I just gotta keep writing, and this chapter will be done, and then I can start the next chapter. So, yay. Hey, guys. Sometimes the key to writing is to just move around a lot. <laughs> I'm now in my room because I got tired of sitting on my couch. It's now like 12 midnight, so woohoo. Got like, what is it, like 9 more hours? I said this at 10 a.m. I think I started at 10 a.m., so maybe I got like 10 more hours of writing. Um, but yeah, so. Ugh, I'm already exhausted because I'm an old lady at heart, so. <sighs> Writing in bed probably isn't the best idea. I'll probably fall asleep here, but like, uh, it's just more comfortable to like lay down with my laptop. <laughs> I feel like I get more done when I'm typing on my laptop. I'm finally done with chapter 13. <sighs> Yay, now I can move on to chapter 14. And yeah, I think I'm finally kind of at the beginning of the climax, um, so things are going to go and start getting pretty crazy, so I'm really excited now, yay, we're more than halfway done with this book, I can't wait to finish it, um, yeah, I'm going to see how long I can write, I'm probably going to have to sleep because I don't want to die tomorrow, <laughs> so yeah, um, we're going to write for a few more hours and see where we're at then. Hey guys, Katie here. So it is the next day. Um, it's like 6 p.m. now the next day, but um, I woke up and went to work, so I didn't have time to update you guys this morning on the 24-hour write-a-thon. So yeah, but I figured I would wrap everything up and give you guys a quick update now. So... Um, I did write for a little bit longer before I went to bed last night, and then I did write a little bit more this morning before I went to work. So, the grand total for words is, okay, so my total, the grand total for words right now is 63,502, and before I started this I had about 59,200, so... For this 24-hour um, writing thing I was doing, I ended up writing a total of 4,302 words. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but I wasn't writing for 24 hours straight. I did sleep because I don't want to die at work. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I did take breaks to eat and sometimes you just gotta step away from the document. But 4,000 words is definitely more than I average. Usually I'll write maybe like a thousand a day um, but I did sit down for a good chunk of time and I kind of just focused mostly on writing so I don't know I feel pretty confident um, yeah but maybe one day I'll do an actual 24-hour write-a-thon where all I literally do is write for 24 hours and nothing else I mean obviously I'm gonna have to eat and stuff but um, Maybe I'll like actually pull an all-nighter and not sleep, but that'll have to be on a weekend when I don't work so I don't die. Um, honestly, I'll probably just die even doing that on the weekends, but yeah, so that wraps this up, you guys. Um, I don't know. I mean, definitely wrote a lot more words than I expected I would write, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you for my next one, so bye!